It's a significant handover. This building will be home to shows like Match of the Day and Blue Peter. Two and a half thousand jobs with the BBC are expected to move to Salford, with a further 13,000 expected at Media City with other companies. You only have to look at the building, uh, the talent that's going to be in here, but I have said to the director in the north, Peter Salmon, I want to make sure that it's Salford young people who get the future jobs. And today, the BBC was keen to show that the £500 million invested won't just make a difference to their output, but to the communities that surround their new home. BBC's changing. We're trying to get closer to our audiences. We're moving a lot of programmes and content out of London. We want to invest a licence fee more fairly, more equally across the UK. We want to create lots of jobs in the media sector. You know, there's a recession on. A lot of people are coming through uh, Salford University, the schools around here. We want to get them in our, in our workforce. So, exciting times for Salford due to be home to a new BBC that promises greater inclusion and greater opportunity for local people. But less than a quarter of a mile from here is the estate of Audsall. And how much do people there feel parts of the so-called new spirit of collaboration? What, I mean, what do you think about it? Do you think it'll be good for the area? I don't know. It won't be good for me because they won't be in my jobs. What do you mean? Don't be suitable for me. With all that happening over there, mm. what kind of impact do you think it'll have on the area here? or do you not think I don't think it'll have any at all, because when they built the Keys, they said that a lot of people, Salford people, would get jobs and it never happened. I've not really been bothered about it, to be honest. Yeah. Why not? It's not, my, it's not my area, is it? <laughs> this is my area. And it doesn't feel like it's anything to do with your area? No, it's over there, isn't it, out of the way? I understand why they, they would feel that. Um, and I don't I promise that immediately everything changes. But, you know, there are two things that will happen here. Firstly, people who live and work in Manchester, Salford and the surrounding area will inevitably, you know, br I think, create different programmes from those who live in other parts of the country. Furthermore, there will be job opportunities here, which some youngsters from that community will find their way into. So the BBC promising that this won't become a tale of two cities. And if they don't keep that promise, they'd better watch out. As soon as the BBC are here, I want them to have at the forefront of the mind where can we get the Salford youngsters uh, from Odsall, from Pendleton, from Blackfriars, from Broughton. Let's get them in, the, in here because those young people have got talent, they've got skills, they've got creativity and let's see it blossom. If not, they'll have you to deal with. Indeed they will. Nina Warhurst, Channel M Today.